Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the Low Budget Review Show. I am your host, Eric Smith, and today I am talking about The Magpie Coffin by Wile E. Young. Look at that amazing cover. Uh, this is from Death's Head Press, and it is book one in their Splatter Western series. See, this is right there, a Splatter Western. Uh, I believe they're doing 13 books in this series, all by different authors. They're unrelated to each other, as far as I know. I think it's just the theme of Splatter Western. Um, and this is the first one. I have the first three. The fourth one just came out. I have not gotten it yet. Uh, but, you know, might as well start with number one. Now, this is the story of Salem Covington, uh, known as the Black Magpie. And he uh, finds out that his mentor, uh, let's see, Comanche Shaman Dead Bear, had to look on the back, uh, finds out that he's been murdered by some dudes, and he goes uh, to get revenge. That's basically what you got in this book. Um, he travels in a stagecoach that's just filled with all sorts of crazy magic-y stuff. And um, he picks up this uh, army scout along his way to help him out. And he picks up his, his uh, mentor's body and keeps it chained up in a coffin. And it's a bloody, bloody tale of revenge and and magic and horror and it is pretty damn good uh splatter western definitely it is a very brutal story there's lots of violence um and it's uh it's it's very entertaining salem covington is a character i wouldn't mind seeing again uh they've got 13 books planned for this series so maybe he'll pop up again i don't know uh, or maybe maybe Mr. Young will just uh, use the character again uh, outside of the Splatter Western series. It could spin off into its own thing. Um, but he's a, he's a character that, that I wouldn't mind seeing again. He's He's got an interesting backstory, and we don't get all of the details of that. It's sprinkled throughout. Uh, the story is told in first person, so Salem Covington is our narrator. <clears throat> so he sprinkles some backstory throughout, but I don't think we have all the answers to who and what he is. Uh, he, he has powers, he knows magic, and he has a special gun, and it says on the back uh, that uh, apparently there's only one weapon that can kill him, so that's not a spoiler. It's right there on the back. <laughs> um... So he uh, he finds out his mentor is dead, and he starts um, he he just starts this bloody trail of vengeance. He's following uh, the clues, for lack of a better term. And when he gets this army scout that he basically forces to help him uh, initially, <clears throat> and this guy can identify the people that killed his mentor. And so they're picking up, oh, this guy is here, and then from there it leads them to this place, and then from there it leads them to that place. Uh, but uh, Salem Covington is a person who is known throughout the country. He's wanted. He, uh, some people are afraid of him. Some people just want to kill him. He is definitely an anti-hero that might even be pushing it too far. He's a very dark character, uh, but he does seem to have some sort of code. Uh, even, well, <laughs> I was going to say, I mean, throughout this this quest of his for vengeance, uh, he, he, he doesn't kill every single person, but there are times when it doesn't matter if you're an innocent or not. Maybe in his eyes, nobody is innocent. Uh, he, he spares some people, some people he's going to kill. That's just the way it is, at least for Salem Covington. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. The uh, uh, Wile E. Young, I think this is the first thing I've read by him. Uh, he's got a fine writing style, but it's hard to tell 
since this is uh, a certain genre, some writers will change their style when writing, say, a Western as opposed to uh, if they normally write just straight horror or whatever. So I, I can't say that this is his normal writing style. Uh, I have nothing else to compare it to, but for this, it definitely works. Um, and again, I keep saying brutal. This is definitely brutal. It is, it is bloody. There is fast violence. There is torture. There's just all sorts of craziness going on. Uh, as I said, Splatter Western definitely fits the bill. Um, and man, I just absolutely love the cover. The, the four covers I've seen so far all have this look. Uh, I'll have to check and see if it's all the same artist. It looks like it, but not necessarily, but I just love, I mean, that's such a crazy cover and they all have this this wanted poster for each of the authors on the back at least so far and i like that they're numbered these are going to look these are going to look pretty nice up on the shelf if i ever get more shelf space um and they have i like the way they're kind of coded up here death's head press and then magpie coffin you can see the numbers i don't know how clear that's coming in but um yeah, uh, not sure what else to say about this one. It's it's a quick read. It it's it's entertaining. Uh, oh, I did want to say, you know, I I read a lot of genres. Almost everything I can think of, except for romance. I love mysteries. Uh, I like sci-fi. I've kind of fallen out of reading fantasy, although I I still read things like Conan. And that sort of thing, but the the high fantasy—I don't know if that's what people call it—but like the Lord of the Rings type stuff, I've kind of fallen away from that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. But of course, horror is my first love, and I like when genres mix. A good horror sci-fi, or you know, there's a lot of horror horror mysteries. Um, I don't know if urban fantasy falls into that, but you have, you know, occult detective series and stuff. But there's something about the mix of horror and Western that makes that my favorite mixed genre. I'm not sure why it is. I think perhaps because uh, when you're writing about the Old West, you don't have the um, amenities of the modern day, obviously no one's going to have a cell phone and most people aren't going to have any type of telephone. You don't have cars and, and all of these things. You're, it's, it's a, you know, it's the wild frontier. And so when you get the horror element brought in, it just, I think people, people that back then, at least in the, the books that I read, you know, they're, they're more, uh, superstitious. They're, they don't have the modern day knowledge. I don't know if that's the best way to put it, but, but um, and they don't have, again, the amenities. So there's, it, it's, it's a grittier horror. It's more frightening, I think, as a reader for the characters, because we know that they can't just jump in the car and drive off or call the police or communicate easily with anybody. And so it's, and, and, and there's much more isolation. So, uh, I just, it, it just works. There's something about it that works for me. I l absolutely love the mix of horror and Western. I love that death's head press is doing these books. Um, and this is a great start. I believe I gave it four out of five on Goodreads. I would have given it four and a half out of five, uh, but you can't do half stars. Uh, but it's it's really it's it's great. It's highly entertaining. So that is uh, the Magpie Coffin by Wile E. Young. And <clears throat> excuse me, I think that's all I have to say about that. So, if you have any comments, questions, or corrections, please put them in the comments below. Uh, any spoilers, put a spoiler warning. Let's all be polite. 
please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, this has been the Low Budget Review Show. I have been Eric Smith, and until next time, read more books.